Hello, my name is Tarek Parvez uh, and I'm representing Scottish Conservative and Unionist Party. Uh, I'm a candidate for upcoming local election for uh, South Side Central Ward. So I got this email uh, from Mr. Davis uh, from Govan Hill Community Magazine. And I'm thankful to you for uh, inviting me uh, on your uh, very important and uh, well-read magazine, I believe, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, now I'm fasting and my voice is a bit not very good and I hope you'll be able to understand. Uh, now I'll go to your questions. Your first question is, what are you going to do to ensure local people have a real say in local decisions? And how would you address any barriers to participation in decision making that they may have? Now, public needs to have a direct voice beyond voting every five years. It will make a big difference if recommendations are coming from people. They should be at the heart of the decision making Pressure groups, other community organizations can work hand in hand with the local councillors. And I believe uh, that's the best way to go forward. Second question, do you think that the council domestic refuse uplift and recycling services work for the people of Govan Hill? What do you intend to do to improve these services in tenemental areas. Now I know how bad things are. I have a few properties and uh, it's absolutely terrible. Uh, in our party we have uh, up in here, you can see the plan, over five priorities. And in it, the first one is scrap the SNP's bulk uplift charges. Now since they have applied these charges, rubbish is piling up everywhere. I see it every day, all the time. The next thing we will do is invest over 10 million pounds into frontline cleansing staff over the next council term. So we will hire more staff to clean the streets, to clean the back courts regularly, especially in Govan Hill, to keep it, that's the only way you can keep it clean, to do it regularly, uh, maybe every second day. Uh, and uh, because the place is full of rats and cockroaches and you name it, you know, it's absolutely terrible. Uh, and the third thing is reverse bin collection cuts and return glass go to a fortnightly service. So every fortnight we will have big bin collection. Uh, and uh, fourth is create an environmental enforcement team to tackle fly tipping. So since they start charging bulk on the bulky rubbish, we see more and more uh, fly tipping uh, in Govan Hill and every street, uh, stuff lying, you know, loads of stuff lying everywhere. It's a disgrace. So uh, these are the things we have already uh, announced, not because of what you are asking us to do. So that is that. So number three, what are, you, what are your thoughts on the fact that our public transport system is not fully integrated? Uh, what would you do to improve public transport? No, it does need a lot of improvement. Uh, you can't get trans public transport off peak hours, uh, Saturday, Sunday, late hours at night, and it's so expensive, especially with a family traveling. Uh, you know, it's cheaper going in a taxi. Uh, also, uh, if you're not living on the main road, rear, major main road, you're living away from there, you know, it takes so long to travel, to walk to, to the major road, to get a bus. And sometimes three, four, five buses come together. It's, it's okay in the peak hours. Uh, and I think we need to have more small buses running and covering the whole area, not just on the main road. Uh, I mean, I, when I live here and I have, I have to go to somewhere, like shopping centers and other places, there's no buses. You know, so have, you have to take a taxi or you need to have your own car. So you're forced to have a car 
because you know public transport and if it's a, it's a, it's a family it's so expensive what i would do is to have more small buses uh, running and covering almost every other street uh, and i think that would help uh, and more people go on the buses and maybe there are some times when they make it cheap very cheap for old for children and all that uh, for under 16 Uh, maybe maybe make it free for them to travel so that is how we'll cover the transport thing i think uh, your fourth question is uh, in what way will you work to make the local street more accessible and safer for all yes i agree the road the streets are not safe uh, especially when you're going at night time uh, in some certain areas are really bad and there are gangs are standing everywhere and people are frightened to go Uh, so I think what we will have, we need to have more people, police on the beat, which we don't see at all, uh, police at all now, uh, and maybe more cameras, uh, that would help uh, to tackle the problem, more police, more cameras, and maybe even um, groups in the in the in the community, you know, keeping an eye, uh, you know, and to make it safer for for all of us. Uh, 